Hi, welcome back to another vlog. So, let's talk about the past two games. First of all, the Sutton game. You've got to get to Sutton, they did play well. They were a strong physical team. However, they were a little bit dirty, especially their goalkeeper, time wasting. I know we're all guilty of time wasting, but come on, when he was biting that ball off the top of the net, Oh, it was absolutely shocking that was. But, you know, you've got to get to Sutton. Now, something I do want to mention is this refereeing in that game was absolutely abysmal. But you can't blame the refs all the time, like I said, because we expect the refs to be rubbish. We've got to play well to compensate for that. The game after that we played with Carlisle, and I've got to say we played brilliant in my opinion, especially that first half. We were dominating them, we was controlling the game. Yeah, they got a few counters, but overall we were controlling that game. And then we went 1-0 up, except we didn't. They didn't, they went over the line, but the linesman didn't give it. Uh, and that changed the game from that very decision. Then later on, they got a goal. But the fact is, that was miles offside, and that completely changed the game as well. Ever since that point, Mansfield had to go attacking, which means we had to push forward, which means it left his defence open, and they kept getting us on the break. So, in a nutshell, that game was 1-0 to Mansfield, but the linesman said, no, it wasn't. It was 1-0 to Carlisle. I know you can't always blame the refs and everything. Like I previously said, you have to play well to compensate for it. But that was a defining moment. That was a game-changing moment, that decision. And I'm absolutely gutted. That's a worse feeling than when you play poorly. If you play poorly, you can accept that, you know, we didn't play well. But we did play well on that game. I think every single member of our team played really well. Aikens got some stick as usual, but I thought Aikens played all right. I didn't see any problems with him. But that's the past. As always, let's look forward to the future. So next up, we take on Crawley. We're back at the One Call Stadium. Hopefully we can get a win again and let's... Uh bounce back as they say from the previous games I've got to say I've seen the uh, the interview with their manager the Crawley manager I'm not impressed with him at all I don't know just his attitude just his presence I can't say what it is about him just not impressed but that's got no to do with the game let's see what happens I think automatics are off the cards now we've got to stop looking at that it's still possible but it's just unlikely let's get his mindset into playoffs as fans obviously uh, the players have just got to take each game at a time still and that's the only thing you can do so, Mansfield currently sitting 8th, we're just outside the playoffs on goal difference, we've played 42 matches, we've won 20, we've drew 9 and lost 13 and we sit with 69 points. Crawley sit on 12th, they play 42 matches as well, they have won 17, drew 9 and lost 16 and they sit with 60 points. If we look at the form, Crawley is forms actually picked up, they've won 3 on the trot, so out of the 5 they've won 4 and lost 1. Mansfield's took a little bit of a dip in form, we've lost three and won two, so let's get back to winning ways. I'm looking forward to the game, we need to get back into winning ways, and always, come on you stags! Well, since uh, recording the intro, I've just found out that actually the Crawley manager, John Yems, has been suspended. And uh, if I'm honest, when I watched their uh, interview yesterday, I got really bad vibes off him. It just didn't seem like a nice chap. It seemed a bit of an... Well, I can't say what I think uh, on the vlog. But yeah, uh, it doesn't surprise me one bit, to be honest. And uh, so they're going to be without a manager today. So I'll see how that affects it. For the sounds of it, though, it might do their players good because I don't think many on them like him, which sounds on it. Anyway... Just want to say thank you very much once again. We've got 386 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. To say how long we've been doing this. Last video didn't perform great, but you know what? You can't blame folk. When we don't win, who wants to sit back and watch it again? But I will say thank yous to those that did watch it. We're slowly getting there. It'd be fantastic if we could hit over 400 subscribers after this video. That would be brilliant. And I'm aiming for 500 by the end of a season. So thank you again once, everybody. If you're enjoying the content, please like like, subscribe and leave a comment. Let us know how you think we're going on. All right.
Right, so we're here with the two Nathans, a little bit confused, and I must admit, we're the great Facebook group. Well, it's just a massive appreciation to say thank you very much for Absolute shifting. So I was getting used to next game. Yeah, we we've never met Nathan before, before school four. Had a they got a chat to him after the game, took a photo. That's got most likes I've seen in a long while. Yeah, um, Paid had an idea of the Sheffield Steelers game day after. Just sat there during the game, no way to go for me. It's a way of saying thank you to Nate. Nobody can say clubs should do it, but I don't see why the clubs should do everything. So I just want to say, if you can donate, please do. You don't have to. If you've already donated, thank you very much. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans, Pat? Uh, just a massive thank you. I never expected this from the fourth season coming. And I do it for simply one. I love it. I put two on the ground. It's a massive appreciation of our philosophy. So everybody, thank you very much. Come on, you stacks. Here we go. We group of lads. How are we going, chaps? All right. Go on then. So from right to left, how are we going to go? I reckon two nil. Two nil. Two nil. Two nil. Three nil. Three nil. Three one. Three one.
them, they're getting a lack of control. They're making a silly, sloppy mistakes. So we have got the potential to batter these. Come on, Mansfield, we've got this. Played some really good football and we've got a goal in the net. A goal in the net, a ball in the net, <laughs> which uh, always helps. Our time. That's our time. 
Let's go to the Kevin Bear Zoo and have a discussion what we think about the match so far. What's your name, mate? Ashley. Are we Ashley here? How do you think we're going on, pal? Good. Good. What do you think, though? Um, right, good. What do you think? You think we need another goal? Yeah, who do you think is going to score it? Oh, yeah, it's going to be Oaks again. Although I did like Jimmy Murphy's goal. What a cracky team goal. Yeah, what? Well, and the finish, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice one, mate. All right, then, pal.
Tiaf off to rest him. Absolutely need to get out Tiaf. off. We need to rest him, we need to play protective for the rest of the season. No danger with that. Personally, I would have thought that he would have bought Barry on sooner to replace Oaksy. We've got to save Oaks. We're 2 0 up. We're 84 minutes in. We should have bought Barry on sooner. How do you think we'll play then? Amazing. We've played amazing. If we were 1-0 down, we'd have been going mad, but we're not, so it don't matter. Let's keep the pressure on. So what do we do? Just slipped, I think.
this up to League One we go. So we're back, we're back home. What an absolutely fantastic game. What a great game, Josh. What do you think? Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. Uh, it's gone our way. The league has gone our way. The other games have gone our way. So, fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with us, sticking with the vlog, sticking to the end. If you're liking the content, please subscribe. Please give it a like, thumbs up, leave a comment. Let us know how you think we're going. And as always, come on, you stags.